with AxeCrypt as well as with other applications, we have the ability for when we do encryption to use what we call as a key file. So we're going to go ahead and select that. But before we do that, let me talk a little bit about a key file. A key file is basically where you keep uh, the key that allows you the passphrase, basically. It's a lot more um, encrypted than that, but it's a key file that has a rather complicated password in it that allows you to decrypt and encrypt the files just using that file. It's very convenient. The challenge, though, is that people sometimes use leave their key file in an open area. So if you're going to use key files, it's strongly suggested that you put that on a USB stick and carry that USB stick with you. So whenever you have a file that you need to decrypt, you simply put in your USB uh, stick into that machine and decrypt that file. So let's go ahead and walk through making a key file. It's very simple. Just click on it once. And read this. This is basically what I just uh, told you. Hit OK. And now it's just going to ask us where, where we want to place it. Now we can rename this to anything. So we could name it, you know, family notes, for example. It doesn't matter. We can name it whatever we want, and we just simply hit save. Now you will see here that family notes is right here, and it tells you that it wants it to be on removable. Now if we go here, here is the actual password. So if you want really secure passwords, this is a good start, right? This is a very secure password. We don't want to have to remember that every time. So let's go ahead and that's how you basically set up a key file. And a key file can be used, like I said, with any encryption technology, TrueCrypt or AxeCrypt both use key files.